Welcome everyone, it's Nancy, the nurse practitioner here with Caregiver Success, and we are going to learn today how to transfer somebody out of bed into a wheelchair. Now, I uh, just want to tell you I'm not a physical therapist, but I am a nurse practitioner, and I moved a lot of patients and taught a lot of family members how to get their loved ones in and out of bed, and even themselves, because they were alone. So we're going to um, be working with Cassandra. Say hi. Cassandra, my, my sidekick here. And we're going to be getting her out of bed. So make sure you wash your hands before you start and always talk to the person. Tell them what you're gonna do, ask them how they're feeling, make sure everybody's comfortable. All right, so here we are in a standard hospital bed. And if you're lucky enough to have one in the home for your person who's disabled or an older person or yourself, Having side rails is really great. It helps you to leverage and move people. If you don't have this and you have a regular bed in the home, um, a lot of people do, there's ways of working with it. But as you'll see, if you're moving somebody into a wheelchair, you're better off with a hospital bed because the bed can go up and down, the head can go up and down, and you have railings. And so you would need a prescription for a hospital bed or um, an electric bed, it's called. Uh, people don't like hospital bed, <laughs> the name. <laughs> and uh, you would have to get that from your clinician. Okay, so um, Cassandra, we're gonna get you out of bed into the wheelchair, okay? Perfect. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna position your wheelchair. Okay, we have a nice wheelchair here. It already had leg rests on it, which I'm gonna just put one back on to show you how they look. And it goes onto the chair. It just so happens that this chair has it off of it right now. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to show you how to put it on real quick. Make sure you use the little clip here on the inside of the chair and you can see the little holes. They're going to fit right like a puzzle piece onto the chair area like this and it should snap in place like this. So um, just want to show you how that works because we are going to be putting them on or I might as well just put the other one on now because when we get Cassandra out of bed we're going to need them to move her around. And the other one looks exactly the opposite. It has a clip, goes on the inside of the chair, and you're going to just clip it on here like this. Let it just sit on the little holes, and it snaps. And you can see we have the leg rests here, ready to go. Now I'm gonna put them up, because when we get somebody out of bed, their feet are gonna to touch the floor, and then you're gonna put them on the, the pedals. Now Cassandra has a weak side on her right side, and her left side is her strong side. So you wanna make sure that you put the wheelchair in the right position to get her out successfully and she can feel successful helping you. So this chair is gonna to have to be moved around. And we're gonna just make it at a 45 degree angle. Make sure you take off the locks for a minute. And the reason why we're doing this, you can really think this through everyone, is if you have a strong side here, and you're getting the person to sit up, you, I mean the strong side's here, you want them to be able to reach over to this, rail, this seat to get up. So it's kind of giving you an idea. If this was her weak side, her whole weak side is trying to get into this chair and she'd have difficulty and it wouldn't be successful and you'd probably hurt yourself as well as the caregiver. We'll put the chair back just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is put the bed up just to my level here just because you don't want to hurt your bed. Let's make her flat in bed first. And then we're going to use the button to bring the butt bed all the way up as high as it will go. Because you don't want to hurt yourself. Um, as a caregiver, once you put your back out, you're out of commission. So you really want to take care of yourself. So stretch every morning. I have a video on stretching. Check it out so you make sure you're nice and pliable and ready to go for the day. I also have a a uh, waist belt or a grab belt on my waist that I'm going to be using on Cassandra to help me get her in the chair. But it's on me to get me ready to, to move her. Okay, so Cassandra, are you ready to go? Yeah. You get you out of bed. Now I want you to take this nice strong side and you're going to reach over to the railing. And I'm going to just bend this leg to help you so you don't hurt your back. And just roll nice and easy. There you go. Okay, and now what we're going to do is bring the bed down a little bit because I'm a little worried about you. You gotta be able to touch the floor. Although Cassandra's a little tiny thing, she probably won't be able to touch the floor, but we'll try. Okay, 
And what we're going to do is put this railing down. And you just hold on to me, okay? okay. Always want to hold on to your patient so they don't feel like, uh-oh, what happened? You're going to help her legs get forward like this. And with the help, if you need to help her more, get underneath her and help her sit up. You okay? I am. Good. So the chair is nice and close. Make sure it's locked. Right? Make sure it's locked in place. And you're going to tell the person to take their nice strong side and go reach over to the railing here on the on the chair. Okay, Cassandra, but we're going to put your the grab belt on you first. I'll show you how cool this is. I haven't used a lot of these, but I see that these are probably better than ever to have. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on a lot of sites. Um, we are physical therapy and occupational therapy. And also if you go to see a physical therapist, they will look at you and adapt the equipment that's perfect for you. And as you rehabilitate and even maybe get stronger, you can move to a cane or a walker or something else. So, you know, you want to definitely see a therapist, not a psychotherapist, a physical <laughs> therapist or an occupational therapist just to get you motivated. Okay, so just touch your feet to the floor a little bit. And I'm going to grab the belt, hold onto the chair, and pivot. Now look how nice and easy that was. Make sure your knees are bent, your feet were straddled around here, your, your back is straight. You don't want to bend over like this because all of a sudden, ah, my aching back. <laughs> and we're good. Now let's just quick show you. Um, the pedals are already on the chair. I'm going to just turn her around so you can see this. And we're going to lock the chair just to work with her. You're going to just put this pedal down and put her foot on it. This pedal goes down and we're ready. Okay, so if you were to get her back into bed, it is a little bit opposite because remember that this is her strong side and that bed is what she's trying to get into. So you want to make sure that you're changing the chair, not to that end of the bed, backwards, but this end of the bed. So we're going to quick show you how to put her back in bed. You know, you can leave the grab belt on her because you're going to just need it again, so why not just leave it? And by leaving it on her, it reminds you, oh boy, I have the belt on, ready for the next thing. So we're going to get her closer to the bed. Okay, so the one thing that's important so you don't have to jiggy somebody up in bed or down in bed is put this wheelchair way up to the top of the bed when you start. Okay, and make sure it's nice and flat, ready to go. And as always, make sure you talk to the person, tell them what you're going to do. So she's got these leg rests on, and so we're going to lock this chair. And again, tell her everything you're going to do. Cassandra, we're going to go back to bed. All right. Did you have a nice breakfast? I loved it. Actually, you didn't have any breakfast yet. <laughs> <laughs> Put the pedal up. Push the little clamp over. Take the chair. Uh, and so these are great because when you take things off, it gives this chair a whole flexibility. I mean, actually, the wonderful thing about these pedals is you can soak somebody's feet in in this wheelchair, in a bucket of water, without having these pedals. Okay. So again, we're positioning the chair close to the bed. It's nice and flat and low. Now you need it low because she can't touch the floor if you make it higher. Um, although it would help me, but we need to get her in bed first. So Cassandra, we're going to reach over. Well, first you're gonna stand up, holding onto the railings, and then okay. we're gonna get you going to the bed. Okay. So I'm straddling around her. She's holding on. I'm grabbing, up, grabbing onto the grab belt. Come on and stand up. Good job. Let's just turn you around and sit you down. Perfect. Hold on to your patient. Push your chair away. And Cassandra, we're going to lay down now, okay? okay. And I'm just going to give you a little juggy. There you go. Perfect. And make sure you put the on up. Sometimes they fight you. All right, and you can bring the bed up to height. So that's how you get somebody in and out of the hospital bed with a wheelchair. If you have any, have any questions, you can email me at nancydnp at gmail.com. Thanks, everybody. Take care and stay well.